Hey everyone, this is Two Way Enthusiast, and I'm here with a video about the uh, Plano ammo can. Actually, it's an ammo box. It's made out of uh, made out of plastic, like a lot of stuff nowadays. And uh, I just wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about them. You've probably seen these at Walmart um, or maybe uh, online at Amazon. Um, sometimes you'll see them at Dick's and other places. They'll sell for about ten to twelve dollars a piece. Do not pay ten to twelve dollars a piece. Not because they're not worth it, but because uh, you can get them a lot cheaper at other places. Um, I usually get them for about five dollars, maybe a few cents less at Walmart and uh, and Amazon. I've purchased about uh, ten of them over the last few years, um, so I'm not going to do any crazy things like jumping on it, submersing it in water. Although from what I see, they are water resistant and uh, they are very sturdy. They probably would hold me, and I'm a heavy guy. But I just want to show you a little bit of uh, about their construction and what they can handle. Uh, now I've I have a lot of my ammunition um, separated by caliber and put into uh, different boxes, and I also have another box that I always take back and forth to uh, to the range because these these boxes do lock. So I've carried it back and forth a lot, thrown a lot of ammunition in it. Never had one problem with them. They uh, I was a little worried because they're plastic, but they're made well. So as you can see here. Uh, there's a plastic latch, okay, so, you know, down it locks it, and I was initially worried about this. It looks like it's kind of brass. It doesn't really look too sturdy, but it actually is, and to lock, you just put it over there, fold it down, locks down nice and tight. There's no give here at all, and there's also a uh, hole here so you can, you can padlock it shut. Now, this isn't really good for a criminal who really wants to steal from you, but if you're just taking it to the uh, to the range and you live in a state where they have a lot of rules and things have to be locked up, it does the trick. Now, my main purpose for this video is to show you um, how much these things can actually hold. So, I just picked up one of my ammo cans, boxes, and uh, just to kind of show you what I've put in here. I'll center this for you. So, you can see here I have... 300 rounds, almost 300 rounds, of uh, CCI uh, 22 short. I have another 200 rounds of CCI stingers. So, so far now we're up to 700 rounds there. I have a box of 9mm Makarov, 50 rounds. And let's see, another 100 rounds of 9mm. 100 rounds of 380. It's kind of one of my mixed up boxes. A box that did hold 100 rounds of uh, Remington 22. And uh, let's see, what do I have here? Looks like I have another 150 rounds of 9mm. So in total, uh, let's see, 150, 250, 350, 450, 500. 700. I have a thousand rounds of ammunition here. Now, one of my boxes, which I didn't feel like getting because it's kind of like way down, I actually have six of these uh, boxes of uh, federal target grade performance ammo. Now, this is the uh, the cheap bulk uh, federal ammo, 325 rounds. I can fit six of these in here just by putting one, two, three at the bottom, and then as you can see, there's room here. Put another row of three on top. And then I can usually fit some uh, some small 50 count boxes in addition to that by putting them on the sides so let's see I end up with uh, let's see, uh, 1950 for 1950 rounds of federal plus usually about another 150 rounds so I'm usually around the 21 to 2200 rounds of 22 LR in their original boxes in these cans so you can store a lot of ammunition in them and uh, like I said, if you you know, it's got a little bit of flex in the middle, but I've never had these things bulge out, uh, no problems. And as you can see here, around the lid, it also has a rubber ring to help uh, keep out some moisture around them. And uh, when it latches down, it latches down pretty tight. And you can see the hinges there. Like I said, they're plastic, but you know, don't be afraid. Uh, I started off by buying one of these, I believe, just to test it out and. It seems like it was made good and made sturdy, so I bought some more. And I'm not sorry, I'll probably buy some more in the future. Uh, and again, when it closes, no problems, no issues. 
Now, the only thing, one little caveat, I did have to drill this hole open a little bit because the uh, padlocks that I purchased were a little too small for it. So I just had to make a little bit of a cut right in here so that it fits perfectly. But if you use um, a longer padlock with a, with a skinny uh, bar, it should be just fine. And, uh, you know, the only problem I do have with these, and it's not a big problem, it's a, it, we want to call it a problem, it's a small issue, is that the boxes are tapered just a little bit from the bottom to the top. It would be nice if we had a little extra room and it was all the way down, but you know what? Not a big deal. And one last thing is if you look at the bottom here, it has this little L shape, and that's on all four corners. And when you stack them up, they fit right into each other, just like you're playing with blocks. So um, perfect if, you're, if you have a lot of boxes and you want to stack them. When you put them someplace, they stay, so you don't have to worry about them sliding around. Uh, overall, um, excellent deal if you can get them for five dollars. Um, if you can't get them for five dollars in your area, which I don't know why you wouldn't be able to, because Amazon always has them. Um, you know, steel ones are fine, obviously, but these are really good ones to get. So again, this is the Plano Ammo Can. I have seen some generic-looking ones at Harbor Freight. Um, they look okay, but I don't know what they'll like over time. Um, I didn't want to risk buying them because I like the fact that these stack into each other uh, so it, storage is nice and convenient. So guys, uh, feel free to leave your comments. If you've had any experience with these, good, bad, or otherwise, share it in the comments please because, you know, your knowledge, my knowledge helps everyone else, okay? Alright, have a good one guys.